Hi guys, this is Sadeh from Dotbin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the firmware on any Xiaomi phone. So why is there a need to get this job done? Well, there could be quite a few reasons, but the most important is the fact that once you flash the firmware, then it will automatically update the partition file across both the slots to the newest build. And this is a must if you are flashing a custom ROM. So before flashing any custom ROM, you are required to be on the latest available firmware and for that you simply have to flash the firmware zip file and when you do so then all the partition file across both the slots will be updated to the latest build and then the custom ROM will have no issue whatsoever in being installed. So with that said from where you could download the firmware well there exists quite a few third party websites I personally use Xiaomi firmware updater but you are free to use any site of your choice it's not that I am recommending this site you could use any site of your choice but if you are planning to go with the Xiaomi firmware update from this website then simply go there you may choose the device from here so for instance let me go with my Poco F5 select the Poco F5 and in my case we want the firmware so check mark firmware and make sure that the latest is check mark so just give me a second let me choose my firmware my phone from here and this is the firmware and the latest and click on download and if you are using this website then you will get the firmware for your phone the latest build so I am again repeating you are free to choose any site of your choice so now that you have got the firmware let's try and understand how to correctly identify the firmware for your phone so as you might have seen the firmware naming scheme is quite complicated well actually it's quite easy to understand the first few numbers are just the version number of the firmware so in my case let's say I'm downloading the India variant so the version is 10120 this is the OS version for the firmware then the next alphabet is U which is the Android version and U is for upside down cake which is the Android 14 then we have the next two alphabet as device code which will obviously be different for different phone in case of Poco F5 it's MR after that you have the region and in case of region you might see IN for India, CN for China, MI Global, EU Europe and so on. Finally you have the XM keyword. XM keyword is a Xiaomi firmware code which is same for all the Xiaomi phones. So you don't have to worry about that. In case of Xiaomi firmware updater you will also get all the section the Android version the region so you could also have a look at this section but if you are using any other side then it might be the case that these sections are not there. So in, in those website you could simply read read the firmware via this information the first is the android version the next two are the device code then, then the next two is the region and the finally the last two are the Xiaomi firmware code so with this you could also refer to my guide and understand the firmware and once you have got the firmware let me now show the steps to flash the firmware onto your phone before that please take a backup of all the data on your phone and if you are also planning to flash a custom ROM then flashing the firmware is the requirement before flashing the ROM so you will have to flash the firmware first and then you can flash the custom ROM always keep in mind this rule so with that said your first course of action is to unlock the bootloader so if you are using a hyper OS then it's a separate guide in case of the MI UI you may refer to the me unlock tool I have linked both this guide in the description you could refer to my guide and get the job done once you have unlocked the bootloader you will also have to install the PWRP recovery onto your phone Regarding this, there exist two approaches. If your phone has a recovery partition, then you could directly flash it to the recovery partition. But if your phone does not have a recovery partition, then you will first have to boot your phone to the TWRP recovery and then flash it via the zip file. All of this might sound a little bit complicated, but it's quite easy. Let me show you how. So first off, let's enable the USB debugging on our phone. So go to settings, about phone, tap on OS version seven times. And you are now a developer so go back go to additional settings and you should now see developer option go there enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking since you have already unlocked the bootloader it might already be grey out and then enable USG debugging you will get a prompt on your phone check mark I am aware of all the risk and then wait for 10 seconds once the time frame has elapsed just tap on OK and you might now get an RC key prompt as well in that case again tap on OK and with this debugging is now enabled let's verify the same so for that first off get hold of the android sdk platform tools from my guide and extract them onto your pc 
you may start them anywhere you want in my case i've done the extraction in c drive and these are the files of platform tools now you have to open the cmd window inside this folder so type in cmd in the address bar of platform tools and now type in adb devices and make sure that you're getting an id if you're not getting any id then unplug and replug your phone from the pc disable and re-enable usb debugging tap on revoke usb debugging use the official usb cable that came with your phone and use the usb 2.0 port on your pc so carry out this usb fixes and make sure that you're getting this id once you're getting this id you will now have to perform a check whether your phone has a recovery partition or not for that just use the following three commands first off let's open the shell environment so type in adb shell and hit enter and your phone name or the phone code name should now be shown here and also make sure that the dollar sign is being shown here now we have to change the directory using the cd command and access the platform directory so let's paste the command finally we will now have to list out all the partition by name using the ls command so let's now list out all the partition as well and hit enter and in my case it's the poco f5 so as you could see my phone has both the recovery a and the recovery b partition so i could directly flash the recovery in the recovery partition but if your phone does not have a recovery partition then you will first have to boot the phone to the wrp recovery and then flash the recovery zip file i'll show you both these cases so let's proceed ahead now your first course of action is to download the recovery for that you may either use the official wrp website or any third party site of your choice and get hold of the recovery img and zip file if the zip file is there or simply the img file will do as well and then you have to transfer the recovery file inside platform tools directory so paste it here and for the ease of convenience let's rename it to twrp and the complete name becomes twrp.img now you will have to boot your phone to fast boot mode so for that you will have to exit the adb shell so let's open a new cmd window and now type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone will now reboot into fast boot mode which will take just a few seconds once it's in the fast boot mode type in fast boot devices and make sure that you are getting an id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fast boot drivers i have made a separate guide and a video on the same you could refer to our video and get the job done once you have installed the drivers use the windows x shortcut keys or right click on the windows icon and choose device manager then expand the android phone section and make sure that the phone is being shown as android boot or interface so this as well as the serial id next to fast boot signify that your pc is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and we are now good to go ahead so just to recall if your phone has a recovery partition then you could now directly flash the recovery file in the recovery partition by using the fast boot flash partition name which is recovery and the file name twrp.img but if your phone does not have a recovery partition then you will have to use the fast boot boot command twrp.img in the first case the recovery will be flashed permanently but in the second case your phone will simply boot to the recovery for one time usage you will then have to flash the recovery zip file to obtain the root permanently so first off let me show you in my case i already have the recovery partition so i could simply use the this command to flash the recovery on the recovery partition since my phone has both the recovery a and the recovery b slot let me flash it across both the slots as you could see the files are now being flashed across both the slots which will take just a few seconds so if your phone also has the recovery a and b partition then it's recommended to flash across both the slots as you could see it's the recovery a and the recovery b partition over here once the flashing is done now type in fast boot reboot in case if you have used the fast boot boot command then your phone will automatically reboot to the recovery but in case if you are using the fast boot flash recovery command then you will have to manually boot to the recovery so the command should have been fast boot reboot recovery but i had just used a fast boot reboot so my phone will now boot to the os that's just not a cause of concern just make sure to use the command of fast boot reboot recovery but i forgot to use the recovery command that's not a cause of concern let me reboot my phone to the recovery once again so let me show you how to do that let me quickly boot my phone to the fast boot mode so let's suppose we are in the fast boot mode and from here you will have to use the fast boot reboot command followed by the recovery keyword and your phone will now reboot to the twrp recovery this is only required if you have used the fast boot flash command if you have used the fast boot boot command then your phone will automatically boot to the recovery 
now since we have flashed the recovery in the recovery partition so in those cases the recovery has been flashed permanently but if you are used the fast boot boot command then the recovery has been flashed just for one time usage if you want to make the recovery permanent then either go to install and flash the recovery zip file or you may go to the advanced section as well and you may then from here flash the twrp recovery as well select flash current twrp or tap on install recovery ram disk choose the recovery img file in case of recovery ram disk you have to flash the img file and not the zip file or you may also flash the current twrp and it will be flashed automatically you, you don't have to do anything whatsoever so you may do so to flash the recovery permanently in case of password boot command in case of password flash command you don't have to do anything whatsoever so with that said our phone is now in the recovery mode and we could now flash the firmware so now all you have to do is simply transfer the firmware file onto your phone so regarding that there are quite a few approaches the easiest of which is to simply copy paste the firmware file so let me show you this so let me first download the firmware this is the firmware for my phone the latest build this is the flashable firmware let's download it and it will now be downloaded in a matter of few seconds let's just wait and once the file has been downloaded you will have to transfer the file onto your phone so let's just wait for that to happen as well there are quite a few ways through which you could flash or rather transfer the file onto your phone for instance you may use the usb mount method and you may use the adb push method as well and you may use a usb otg device as well but please do, do not use the adb side load method again i'm re repeating the adb side load should not be used apart from that you may use the usb mount usb otg or the adb push i show you all these methods so in case you are using the usb otg method then plug in the usb otg then go to mount and from here you will have to tap on mount usb storage and then it will be mounted and then you may unmount it if it's no longer required then go back go to install tap on select storage and choose the usb otg and then you could flash it from there on the other hand if you are using the usb mount method the normal usb method then simply you have to transfer the file onto your phone via the copy paste method as well so in that case the only requirement is that your phone should be shown here and you should be able to access the storage so if you are not able to access the storage or the internal storage has been encrypted then in that case the usb mount method will not work so in that case you will have to use the adb push command to get this job done so i show you that method as well let's just wait for a few more seconds i don't know why the server is so slow as of now it usually don't take that much longer so we have got the firmware file let me access it quickly so the easiest is to simply copy the firmware file and transfer it onto your phone but if the storage is not accessible on your pc then in that case you will have to use the adb push command and for using the adb push command you have to transfer the firmware file inside the platform tools directory for the ease of convenience rename it to fw and the complete name becomes fw.zip and now open the cmd window inside platform tools then type in adb push file name which is fw.zip space forward slash and sd card and hit enter and as you could see the firmware file has now been flashed we did not access the phone storage via the pc and the file has now been transferred onto your phone if you go to internal storage as you could see over here the fw is the file which we have just tra transferred in rare cases it might happen that you might not be able to access the sd card or the phone memory so you may also transfer the file to any other location let's say the data partition you could also transfer the file to that location and i'll show you that as well so in such cases you could access that partition and flash the file there so the file has been transferred now go up a level go to the data partition and as you could see we have the fw zip file so you could also flash the file from here as well but only do so if the sd card is not accessible in most cases you could be able to access the internal storage which is the sd card in our case so once you have transferred the file onto your phone simply choose the firmware file and do a right click to flash it the flashing will now start and will take only a few seconds so let's just wait and as you could see the flashing is now complete now it's recommended you tap on wipe dalvik cache as well while it's not compulsory but it's highly recommended that you do so once that is done you may then tap on reboot system and your phone will now reboot to the newly flashed firmware and do keep in mind that the first boot up might take up some additional time 
that is completely normal and nothing to worry about from the subsequent time that will not be the case so let's just wait for the phone to boot to the os and after that as you could see our phone is not booted to the os running the latest firmware so guys in short you just have to flash the twrp recovery or the pitch black recovery or the orange fox recovery and then download the firmware file just make sure to read the firmware information correctly the most important part is the region code make sure to flash the firmware which correspond to your region that is extremely important and you may use any third party site of your choice to get hold of the firmware and apart from that simply flash the recovery and then flash the firmware zip file do note that flashing the firmware is not recommended via the aosp recovery in other words you should not use the lineage os recovery or the cr dot recovery flashing should only be done via the twrp or orange fox recovery so guys with that said i round up this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching